What's going on guys? Chaos here. Bring you guys another video. Man, today I'm bringing you guys a great video, man. It's an add-on to our last week's six-man blitz. Shout out to my guy Henny Chulo for that. His uh, his Twitter will be in the description. But if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys check out the card. I believe right here, right here. I believe it's right here. Check out that video. I'll put it in the cards. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. Come back to this video because this video is awesome as well. It's an add-on with a three-man, a four-man, and a five-man blitz. All out of the same look as the six man and it all gets pressure against a block running back three man and four man versus a block running back if you could tell me that and, and use it shoo i'm using it every time so make sure you guys stick around for this video for that uh, i also show you guys how to get a bluff bluff list three wreck which is awesome uh so make sure you guys check out both uh stay around for that and at the end of the video i give you guys a little bit of a baby rant uh, about how to really play madden i really think it's going to be helpful for you guys to use uh, so if you guys don't want to watch the whole video, at least wait around and check that out because I think that it'll really help most of you guys. Really just about the chess the chess match I'm at and how to really play instead of just sending six every single down. I really think it'll be helpful for you guys, so stick around for that. And lastly, I just want to thank you guys personally. You guys have been awesome with my videos. You guys have been killing it with the likes. I asked for 250 last video and you guys knocked that out. And you guys have been unbelievable, man. So I just want to thank you guys for that. And I just want to also thank all the new guys for coming around. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the sub button. You guys have helped me do what I do. You guys help me to bring you guys great content. I bring it year around, and I just want to uh, thank you guys for that and hope that you guys will continue to do so. So without further ado, man, let's jump into this video and let's get it. Okay, guys, so last time I talked about personnel. You guys, like I said, check out that other video if you guys want the personnel and how to line everybody up. Uh, but basically, you really just want fast guys. Uh, where's my controller? There it is. So I'm going to be showing you guys just basically when you want to use what um, setups against this. So the setup, uh, the base setup is still the same. It's baseline, shift your line. I don't know why I didn't move. Um, baseline, shift your line to the left. Uh, crash left, so it's triangle, left stick right to baseline. L1, left stick to the left to shift your line to the left. L1 right stick to the left to crash them left and then R1 left stick to the to the right to move your linebackers to the right so you have it like this now you basically so uh, we have a four man and a five man and a three man I'm gonna start off with the four man because the four man is the one that you want to send off the side on the left so if the running backs on the right as you can see here I'm gonna send the four man off to the uh, off the right so I'm just gonna spy that guy you can click on him and do that or it's L1 and L1 again and then circle and spy them. But basically you have it right here. And you're not gonna scream every single time against a block running back. But if they don't block the running back, they're gonna get hollered at. But if they block their running back, it's still gonna possibly get some pressure. And if not, it's gonna make them roll out to the right and they'll get and then you can just send your spy. So I'll show it to you guys and I'll kind of show you guys the scenario where um where they'll roll out to the right. So right there we did scream. Perfect. Um just send in four people. And you're gonna see, just in this replay, all the congestion that it causes, right? So these guys are both looping over here. As you can see, Vic Beasley's going around the edge. And then, uh, I believe this is Grady Jarrett is looping in here. And then you have uh, your linebacker, which is Campbell, looping in as well. So these three guys are all just creating a bunch of havoc and confusing the, the offensive line and getting pressure now. If they see all this congestion to the right, right, and you see all this opening, they're likely just going to roll to the right, like just sit right here, and then you just send your spy. So it's really, really easy, and I'll, I'll show you guys that now. I'm going to try to use the second controller. And spy. So here we go. So you guys, this, this is the setup. So they're going to hover like right here, and I'll block my running back. I see all this congestion, right? I move, I move, I move. Send the, send the spy. You guys see that? Now, the pressure got there before I could even send it. But we're only sending four people versus a black running back, guys. It's really, 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 really good. I'm not going to, like, kill you guys with continuously showing you guys the setup. There's no reason really to. And by the way, if this guy ever gets stuck, which is a lot more common in practice mode than it is in a real game, just touch him. He'll go into his right spot. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys this one more time. So I'm just going to hike it. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Send the spy. But I mean, you guys can see we're getting clear pressure, um, even with the rollout. Like it's really, really hard when the running backs on the right side for them to block this blitz, and because you can, everyone's looping. So this guy loops, takes takes away these guys' attention. Vic Beasley loops, 
takes away the running back's attention, and then Campbell loops and just goes and sacks him. So, very, very, very good setup. Um, and that's really it for the four-man. I'm going to show you guys the three-man now, um, just because the three-man is the same thing, but just on this side. So, what I would do is spy the guy again, just like before. And then this guy, since he's blitzing pre-snap, which is why you want to do everything out of Sam Blitz still, you can make him into a bluff blitz uh, three rec. Just like before, I showed you guys this adjustment before. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll show you guys right here in the card above me, right in the top right corner, um, whatever it is. But the bluff blitz three rec, as you guys can see, probably the best zone in the game. Um, it's really, 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 really good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, get that in the other video. But so you're only sending three people now and it's still gonna do the make the make them roll to the right thing. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, let me get in this gap, there we go. So they're blocking the running back versus three. And Vic, uh, sorry, I didn't block the running back, but Vic Beasley comes screaming. Three versus, three versus uh, zero. So I'll just show you guys that, I guess. Why not, right? Why not show you guys three versus five? Vic Beasley just loops in, and the left tackle just completely disregards him, and he sacks the quarterback. Perfect result right there. Now, I'm going to block the running back because it will pick up the three, man. I'm not going to sit here in front and act like it's going to come in free every time against a uh, black running back, but... There you go. So I'm going to block the running back here. And I'm going to just show you guys the rollout. And you send the spy. So they force me to roll now. And you send your spy. And I messed up because, I don't know. It's hard to use to do controllers. But you guys see it. It kind of forces you to roll. Now, it took a little bit longer this time to force me to roll. But I'm going to show you guys it anyways. So here's when I would start rolling. Uh, right about now. As soon as Vic Beasley starts to feel like he's fighting through like that. And it's really hard for them to pick up this loop. So you guys see the tackle still disregards him. And the running back has to get him. But the running back kind of whiffs on him. And he gets through it really easily. But then you can send your spy right now. See, he's rolled out of the pocket. You forced him out. You only sent three. So you have eight in coverage. Which means you're going to do a good job on defense most likely. If you adjust. And now it took me forever to send the spy. Because I couldn't find my controller. But you guys can see. If you send that spy the second. So you want to send him right. Right now. And... He has about two and a half seconds now to make a read. So that's what you're doing with the three man. Uh, if the running, so the, what you're doing is if the running back is on the right, you're sending the three man or the four man. I personally like the four man because I feel like it gets consistent pressure against a block running back, which most people are going to be blocking their running backs now. But um, but it's possible that they are sending five out. The reason for this is if you're sending six a lot, a lot, a lot, the way to beat six. Is by sending five out a lot of the time. Just make a quick read, backside in route, table route, out route, something quick, right? So if they're sending six repeatedly, 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 and they're sending five out at you, send three with a spy, and you'll get that looping pressure against against the the non-block running back. So right here, we're just gonna send the three again, and uh, we get instant pressure. I mean, you guys see it? It's very, very good. Now I'm gonna jump. Out, I'm gonna call timeout real quick. This is the last piece of it. It's going to be the five man. So honestly, this is probably my least favorite, but it is usable. So I'm going to show it to you guys anyways, but it's definitely my least favorite. So the running backs on the opposite side now, uh, just going to flip doubles. Come on in Sam blitz still flipped baseline line. Now remember last time this guy's uh, blitz angle is going to be messed up. You're going to need to move him over. So you just want to move them over like right about here, right? That's, that's pretty good. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, but it doesn't matter right about there. And you're going to put that bluff blitz again, as you guys can see. And now they're going to, they're going to block their running back on the left side. So since they're blocking on the left side, that's why you want to send it from the right. And basically you're just going to do the same thing you do before hover right here. And you're going to hope it screams. Now it's not a hundred percent consistent, but it's pretty, it's, I would say about 75% of the time it is uh, going to come in just because this blocking in this game is really weird. But just put it on like right about here. Block the running back. And he's going to have a chance at the quarterback. So sometimes the running back will get him right before the quarterback. It's kind of hit or miss. But this is why, that's why I said this is the uh, probably my least favorite because. It's just probably the least consistent and it doesn't get as much looping pressure because I love blitzing this linebacker with the loop. But it definitely comes in. So 
it's definitely something worth using if you don't want to send six and they block their running back on the opposite side and you guys can see there it did come in free I'll go to the replay so that's the reason why I don't like this one quite as much as the send six or the send four is this guy will get stuck every once in a while um look so he's coming in free but he gets stuck like he gets stuck for a millisecond right here I don't like that I wish he would just run around him and come right in with like a normal person would do but he gets stuck for a second then he sacks him but it does come in it is good um worth the use but I would say the best one is the four man. I'm just gonna say that right now. If you're not using the six, that is. I like the six the most personally, but if you're not using the six, the four is probably the best. And then maybe the maybe the three and then the five. But use yeah, utilizing that spy on the rollouts on the three man and the four man is actually really, really helpful. And right there you guys see he was coming in but gets stuck. And I'm gonna show you guys that. That's why this is why I don't use it quite as much. But it's definitely useful. Um, but the main part of this video is the three man and four man, I would say. But you're gonna see here he's coming in free, and then he just runs right into a blocker, and he's not even really getting blocked. He's still not getting blocked. He's just literally stuck between. Because you can see if he was getting blocked, the uh, Brooks Reed would just come in. But he's literally stuck between four people. It's just funny. I don't know, man. The game's quirky. But the best one I'm gonna say to use. So I'm gonna just do a quick recap. Let's set these up so first and foremost the best one to use is the four man so just spy here if the running backs on the right that's perfect uh, then you have then you have the three man where you zone this guy out maybe put him in a bluff blitz three wreck then you're sending three and then you always have the send six so you move this guy out then you have the send six you're hovering right here so you have all those guys, you're able to make coverage adjustments. I'm not going to go into coverage adjustments today on this video. You, I've made several of them out of cover two. I've made them out of three, three, five. I've made them out of uh, nickel blitz. Check out my older videos, guys. Look at the three, three, five playlist. I have coverage adjustments out of it. Um, it does tons of different things to change your shell. I know people in the YouTube comments, they love, oh, you just send two routes over the middle. User can't guard them both. I mean, you guys can do tons of things, man. Uh, you can do this. Like... You could do this, lurk the flats yourself, like, sorry, you could do this, like, you guys could do, you can do countless things, man, so, just look at those older videos for the coverage adjustments, make sure you guys utilize these, uh, these three man and four man setups, don't send six every play, the send six is awesome, it's gonna scream, versus six uh, people block, seven people blocked, it's gonna scream. So they're going to start sending five out. And when they start sending five out, you start sending three. You start sending four. You get that quick, 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 quick pressure with six and uh, seven, eight people in coverage. That's that's the mind game. That's the chess game of Madden. That's how you win games. When they're sending five out, you're sending three and four and getting pressure. When they're max, prote max protecting and sending three routes out, you're sending six and you have five people to guard three while you're still getting instant pressure. That's, the, that's, that's really how Madden is, man. So I'm sorry about the rain at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys will implement this into your game. And if you like, man, please drop a like for me and drop that sub for me. Tell your buddies, tell your friends about your boy Chaos. But take it easy, man. Peace.